As a little background, I moved out of my parents at 17 into my boyfriend's place. And that didn't work out so well and I ended up rooming with a couple of really nice girls. But I was so broke I couldn't afford rent. My brother had been released from prison after a two year sentence in 2010 so we decided to move in together until we both had a place to go. We lived about a five minute walk around the corner from my work and he worked in a kitchen downtown about a 15 minute walk from my work. Anyway, this happened in 2011 when I was 20 years old. I was working at a 24 hour gas station slash convenience store. My usual shifts were either 7am to 3pm or 3pm to 11pm. When all this began it was a pretty normal weekday night. I was behind the counter texting my boyfriend and reading reddit. I like an idiot hadn't done a safe drop for a while so I began counting out the excess money in my till. It was a lot of excess so I created a bunch of safe drop slips with random amounts because I had been yelled at two days prior after large safe drops. It was around 9.30pm when I got all the money into the safe and all was well. I locked the safe up and returned to reddit. I was reading for about 5 minutes when I suddenly had this creepy feeling like I was being watched. I looked out into the store. There was no one there. I checked the gas cameras and nobody was at the pumps. I had the shade down because I hadn't wanted anyone to see me with so much money. So I pushed it aside and a guy in a big brown coat with his hood up was standing there, staring in the window. Just standing there on the sidewalk. Staring. I had pretty intense goosebumps and was really freaked out, even though there was no way he could have seen the money. I wanted to be safe just in case, so I messaged my brother and asked him to come by when he was done with work. He agreed and told me he would let me know when he was on his way. I put the blind back and made sure the safe was locked and everything was as secure as it could be. I had a few customers after that, the usual rush between 9.45 and 10.30. And pretty soon I had forgotten the weird guy outside. My brother texted me saying he was off a little later after 10pm and I told him not to worry about it. But he insisted, protective big brother he is. He showed up around 10.35, had a look around, decided I was safe and left. I then opened the safe to start counting my lottery tickets. And when I get my next customer, I put them back in the safe and close it, but forget to lock it. It was now 10.45pm and a young couple that chats with me walks into the store. They browse for a while and decide on some things and then come up to be checked out. Another customer walks in. I didn't look up but I saw in my peripherals that they went to the froster machine. I finish ringing them up and they leave. I look at my phone as it buzzes on the counter. Then there's a thump on the counter. The customer had basically thrown a drink down on the counter. I look up. It's a guy wearing a black North Face style jacket with his hood up. I smile trying to be polite, ring his drink in and ask him if there is anything else he wants. He says, Yeah, the money in your till. I smirk thinking he's joking and say, yeah don't we all? He then looks me dead in the eye, pulls out a big sharp knife and says, I'm not kidding. At this point I'm freaked out but I keep my cool and say okay and start emptying my cash drawer, carefully counting the bills on the counter so the camera has a chance to get a better picture. Then he waves the knife towards me so I dump it into a bag and put it on the counter. He takes the bag and leaves the store, whistling with a big grin on his face. As soon as he is outside I call the police and my boss. I was freaked out and my boss yelled at me like it was my fault and laughed at me that I was scared. I couldn't at that point afford to lose my job so I kept going in. A few days later during a day shift, the same guy walks into the store. He comes up to the counter while I am counting something and the other cashier serves him. I stand up and he looks over at me. My jaw drops. He doesn't react like, oh crap. He smirks and winks at me. I'm an idiot and totally freeze and don't say anything. He waves and walks out. I find my voice and tell my manager, not my boss, that it was the same guy. She calls the boss to get the tape so I can confirm because she thought I was still just freaked out and imagining things. I never got a chance to confirm because my boss is a jerk. The guy comes in a few more times and I always say something but eventually their doubts get the better of me and I think that I'm just imagining it's the same guy. A few nights later, 
I'm walking home from work, which is just up the road, over a set of train tracks surrounded by gravel. Then down the road a minute more, then a right, across the street, then a left into the driveway of my building. I left my headphones at home, so I'm just walking, listening to the night. Then I hear a shift in the gravel behind me. I figure it's just an animal until I heard another noise. I'm getting freaked out now, so I pick up the pace. That's when I hear footsteps behind me, fast and deliberate. I take off sprinting. The footsteps keep pace with me. I look behind me and see the same guy with something in his hand. I run faster. I'm just reaching the corner where I cross when I can see my brother, walking home from work, coming up the street from downtown. I wave and keep running. I'm so focused on reaching him that I don't hear when the footsteps disappear. I get to my brother and he asks what's going on, and I tell him I am sure I was being followed. He hugs me and walks me back to the apartment. He tells me he'll be back and locks the door behind him. He was gone for an hour. He comes back tells me he's sorry he couldn't find the guy and asked me to get a different job. I quit my job that night and I never see the guy again, and eventually become able to be out after dark alone. Fast forward, I finally get a new job, several months later at a sandwich shop, and I haven't forgotten the events but the fear has faded and I only think about it occasionally. One night, I'm working close at my job. We close at 9pm and I get out around 9.20. This job is about 45 minutes away from my apartment, taking the bus on the far north end of the city. Clothes finally arrive, so I lock the doors and turn off the storefront lights. I'm doing my closing tasks in the back room when I hear a tug on the door. I poke my head out, not really looking, and wave saying we're closed, then go back to the back room. I finish up and go up front to cover the toppings and whatnot when I look out and there's someone standing outside my store watching me. I get the heebie-jeebies and grab the store phone. The person sees this, grins, then turns around and leaves. I watch him walk across the parking lot and get on the bus before I put the phone down. I finish up my work and head out to catch my bus, a bus late because the guy took my usual bus. I get on the bus, plug in my headphones and start to doze off. I change buses a few minutes later. There are a bunch of people at the transfer stop mostly students. I live in a college town. I take a seat at the back and shut my eyes for a few minutes. My phone buzzes so I answer the message. I look around to see where I am and there's the guy wearing a black North Face style coat with an all too familiar face from outside my store a half hour earlier standing at the front of the bus watching me. Now I'm extremely freaked out. I of course text my brother and ask him to meet me at my stop just telling him that I'm freaked out and he agrees. I watch the guy and he gets off at my usual stop, still watching me. I stay on and ride to the next stop a couple blocks away. I get off and catch the final bus I need that will take me home. The bus slows at the next stop and I am sick to my stomach. He gets on. He would have to have run to reach this stop in time from where he got off. I stand as I reach my home stop. He stays seated. I get off the bus. The guy stays on, and I start walking through the yard that connects to my parking lot. I see my brother coming out of the building about 50 feet ahead of me. Then I hear the bus stop, halfway up the hill. I don't even have to look back. I just run to my brother. I saw the guy a few more times outside my work and outside my building, late at night, always just watching me until I finally told my boss that I wouldn't work closed shift and started taking a different bus route home. It kept up until late November until finally he left me alone and I didn't see him again. One night around Christmas, I was dozing off watching the news when a newscast catches my eye. It showed a picture of some girl around my age, blonde hair, blue eyes, like me. The reporter said that the girl had been found in the bathroom of her job. She's been sexually abused, then stabbed to death. Another picture pops up. The guy in the North Face coat, saying that he was the only suspect and he was wanted in relation to this case and several other similar cases where he had stalked, then either robbed their homes or workplaces before they were found dead. I moved out of that apartment into one with my now boyfriend. This one has secured entrances and cameras. The stalker, 
turned out to be a rapist and serial killer. <laughs>